damn, I need a fucking order. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. And this match, come on, son. If you got animals, bro, and they jumping on desk and shit, I ain't gonna lie, that shit be getting me tight. Cause fur be up here, my nigga. I keep, I like shit to be, you know what I'm saying, clean and shit. Animals on top of furniture is already fucking. That's that's crazy work. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna have to dust this shit off. It's not bad, but. Bro, nigga, don't got no respect, bro. None. I just don't believe the league was never considering continuing the game. I, I don't I'm going to keep it real. We are, we in left field. We in left field. I'm kind of hot right now, too. I'm kind of hot. Because we do this every freaking time something happened on this field. Everybody want to pivot and act like they... Well, I done heard people talking about, oh, you know, just uh, the mental health of the... Not that this fucking matters, but is that a Richard Miller? I don't know who this guy is. Somebody let me know who he is. Oh, you know, just uh, the mental health of the players. And yeah, you could die. They don't even know they could die out here. We sit here and talk about this stuff every single time. Schedule remakes. How are we going to make it up? What the league feels about it? I, I don't give a damn what the league feels about it. Let's be keep it real. Why we don't talk about the stuff that matters? This young man, you want to know? You want to know how, how what this, you need to know about him? He's 24 years old, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got a contract for $160,000. That's whoa. Did not know that. Is it? Did he just get drafted? This bonus, and he earns $825,000 this year. You say, G. Bush, why are you talking about this man's money? Because guess what? He been in the league two years. Okay. That means he's not vested. That means if he never plays another down in his life, he don't get another check for the NFL. Let's be clear about this. You got to play three to four years before you even sniff a pension. So all this heartwarming and prayers and condolences don't do nothing for that boy's mom that, that got to go home, look at her son, and he might need extensive care for the rest of his life. And you know what the NFL will tell you? Well, you know, um, you know we'll, we'll look out for the people like him. No, you won't. No, you won't. Let, let's talk about the disability policy for the NFL, right? They moved it from $22,000 a month to 4000 in the last collective bargaining agreement. Did you know that the NFL has a private board that reviews all aspects with their doctors and with, and with their neurologists and their specialists? They can deny benefits even if Social Security deems you to be permanently disabled, the league can come back and then say, you know, the national go the government is a, you know, they're, they're experts, but let's take it over so we don't pay anything out. Oh. Nah, that, I never knew that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, like, let's go back. I don't know if y'all niggas heard him. That's crazy. Aspects with their doctors and with... Hold on. Nah, 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 nah. You won't? No, you won't. Let, let's talk about the disability policy for the NFL. Right? They moved it from $22,000 a month to 4,000 in the last collective bargaining agreement. 20 to, from 22 to 4,000? Did you know that the NFL has a private board that reviews all aspects with their doctors and with, and with their neurologists the and their specialists? And I have to pay they can deny benefits even if Social Security deems you to be permanently disabled. Yo. The NFL, bro, got it. You telling me the so social security can be like, yo, like he's permanently disabled, like he needs his money in order to to survive, and the NFL could be like, well, well, eh, we don't we don't really think so, nigga. What? That's crazy, bro. I'm only I'm smiling because I never knew any of this shit. I'm glad he's bringing this up. That's fucking crazy. The league can come back and then say, you know, the national go the government is a, you know, they're, they're experts, but let's take it over so we don't pay anything out. Only 15% get approved by Social Security. The league says that number should be lower. Damn. Get that. 15% of the people who apply for disability in this country, I know I was a, I was a disability expert. It's very low. I submitted over almost 250,000 applications in one year, one time. I know. Since the CTE settlement, only 6.5% of the settlement has been paid according to the admin's website. I looked it up. Yeah. Yo, you know what's crazy, though? You know this all falls down to, bro? Liability, bro. When you're a big-ass corporation, bro, their main priority is to take as less liability as possible. Like, 
if you become disabled, if you become unfitting to work, like they don't want, they, they, they're able with, with the lawyers they got, bro, these big, they are able to just like stiff arm shit. Like, ah, nah, that's not us. Like, ah, we're not liable to do that. Ah, you know what I'm saying? It's in the cop. You know what I'm saying? Which I get it. You're a big ass company, but when shit like this happens, like unpredictable shit, like nobody expected some shit like that to happen. This man to be, this man to clinically die. Cause I, he clinically died. Like, let's keep, let's all, let's all keep that in the mind too, bro. This man clinically died on the fucking football field a few days ago. Like, he got up, he had to get resuscitated for nine minutes, and then I think they lost him again at the hospital. Like, and then he had, they had to get him back again. Like, like that's fucking crazy, bro. Like, yes, it happens. Yes, yes, it's, it's happened. People have probably, you know what I'm saying, full go sit and similar shit. But, like, come on, son. This shit is crazy. And you're telling me that social shit, like, if he's... If he's never able to play again, he still may not be eligible or, or or viable to be compensated at the very least. At the very least, he's playing at a high of fucking this level met like the, 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 the percentage of people going to the NBA NFL percentage is so fucking low. And he's playing at the highest level and he can't even get a possible uh 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 to be taken care of by the league, even let's say, even though his pension doesn't kick in for three, four years, like what? Like what? That's fucking crazy. Let's put it. Uh, I ain't gonna keep saying too much. That's Yesterday, fucking crazy, bro. And sixty percent of the claims That's have a qualifying crazy. diagnosis, but have not been paid. Yeah, I heard about the shit. Like let's that. talk about this. Let's talk about this. Like I think, um, what son? What's son name? Not Adrian. I was about to say Adrian Bruno. What's the fuck is son name, bro? He ran out on the fucking field. Oh, when he was playing with the... Oh, what the fuck is his name, bro? Crazy dude. Crazy dude, bro. He was so... Antonio, um... Fuck, bro. Fuck. Hold on. Fuck. Nah, I gotta look this up. I look this up while this video is playing. Hold on. The, they're also moving the pinching. With, with, and that pinching, he got to make it to 55. He's 24. Damn, bro. They got, they, these, they got all these stints. They got all these stipulations just for you to even be, like, get a, a small, or for you to even qualify. And then even still, even still, you may not get it. Move that between 3,000. They moved it down to 3000 when it was 5600 a month. And the last stat that you should know Antonio about Brown. is the Bills owner Terry Pagula owns the Sabres oh, as wow. well as uh, as well as the Buffalo Bills and his net worth is 6.7 billion dollars. My question to you is NFL when you when when do salaries become guaranteed? If you know these young men are going out there and they could die on that football field, I don't give a damn what you what thoughts and prayers are. Do the right thing. I just heard Aditi say it seven times. This is a savage sport. Men are dying every week, and you covered that up during CTE, and now you want to act like you the top of the food chain because you got the CPR people on the field all the time? That's the least you should do. Yeah, nah. If they feel as though they got the CPR team, nah, nah, nah. nah. That's bare minimum, my nigga. Like, these are players playing for y'all. They're working for y'all. These are literally the pe they, people come to see them. Like, yeah, the NFL has gotten it together to where, you know what I'm saying? But they come to see the players, bro. They don't really come. They come to see the franchise, too. But the, the players make the franchise. So you should always make sure that your players are well compensated, well taken care of. And in case of any kind of emergency, at the very least, they should be, you know what I'm saying? They should be wait Niggas should be getting, be taken care of, point blank, period. Like, I... I'm, I'm over here like can't even speak because this You're not gonna crazy. pay that man's you, you you're not gonna pay that man's tuition for his kids. Nope. You're not gonna give him no disability money. Nope. You gonna do nothing. Nope. All you do is collect them big checks and we go play fantasy footballs and I hear these yeah, dudes everyone. thoughts and prayers for a whole damn two hours. Y'all don't care about them kids. These young black kids is putting on the line. And you telling them what they put on the line ain't worth it because it, you know why? Because you don't want to pay for somebody that's broken and battered and can't take care of themselves because it costs you money.
So it is all about money. So now, now, I'm going to play a little bit of devil's advocate. At the end of the day, they knew what they signed up for. And yes, it is a business, but I do agree with what he's saying. Like, like, I get what I get what the league is, but I also feel as though at the very least they're making this X amount of money. You telling me you can't count, like you can't take care of them? Like you, the league makes more than enough to to to, to take care. I'm not saying you got to give these niggas billions of dollars, but make sure they're you feel me? They're well taken care of. Like you know what I'm saying? Make sure they're fairly compensated for the. For, <laughs> For the outpour, the 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 commitment they've made to not only youth but to themselves to go out there and play it at such a level that few people get to even 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 get to 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 see like you know what I'm saying. But you know, that I just wanted to play devil advocate. Hope, don't hop on my ass, man. You gotta you gotta have both perspectives. It is a business. They did choose to do this, but at the end of the day, nobody chooses. Nobody wants to die. You know what I'm saying. Nobody wants to go out there and be like, yep, I'm about to go kill myself. They go out there to. Play the sport, play it at a high level, enjoy the sport, and go home to their family, my nigga. Like, so anything other than that would be would be would be less than. You know what I'm saying? And I you heard nobody talking about no contracts, and they sitting up here cashing these checks. Mm -hmm. We worship these owners. They do anything they want to, mm -hmm. anything. And as long as the product is good, we salute it. I'm pissed off today because ain't nobody talking about the real stuff. There's people out there, players are saying, they just want to wait for us to die. I like the NFL just like the rest of y'all, but I'd be damned if I'm going to sit up there and pat Roger Goodell on the back for running this organization the way he does. They run it like a criminal organization. Oh, shit. I know, that might have been definition. My brother, be easy with the, with the wordplay. I'm tired of that, man. I just had to get that off my chest because all this stuff you ain't talked about with this boy gonna go through. Yeah, this so, kid yeah. could be after the aftermath of the after effects may be some shit, bro. He's only been in the league for two years and it's already like shit costing him his fucking life. Fuck, I, fuck X amount of time he's been in the league, but the shit, you know what I'm saying? He literally like, thankfully he's good, but we don't know any of the. The side effects, the long term effects of this said, you know what I'm saying? This this accident. So it's like, will he be able to even like be able to take care of his family himself? Like, is he gonna be able to be the same person or or is he gonna come back stronger? Like, bro, it's mad other shit that goes into this like So outside of the initial on the surface, like, ah, right, he's fine, like, okay, but now what happens now? Like, is he you know what I'm saying? Is he even gonna be able to do the thing that he loves the most that Possibly put him, put him in a position to where he can't even walk, walk proper, eat proper by himself. Take, you know what I'm saying? Take a shot. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the things that we overlook. Is he gonna be able to, uh, to even do that? Like normal. You know what I'm saying? So, I damage the rest of his life. And we talk about making up games. Care about making up no damn football games? Nah, that's true though, man. Bernie Kosar is the one that said that. You, you mentioned the player that said they're waiting for us to die. I, and I thought about that conversation we had with Bernie on this very set about the league not properly taking care of these gladiators that have churned out. Nah, for Yo, gladiators is tough because that's really what they are, though. Them linemen, them, uh, yo, running, all of them niggas are gladiators, bro. These are, these are grown men at two, three hundred pounds, get off the fucking line. In a split second, and will put you on your shit, nigga, in your pamper, like <laughs> no problem. And 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 literally, they do this shit week after week after week after fucking week. You know what I'm saying? And they put in a they they train in OD. They're they're in the gym crazy. Like the the diet they got to keep up is you know what I'm saying. So it's like you gotta take care of them, man. They're like, yes, they, this is what they want to do. Yes, they love, they get compensated and all that. But at the end of the day, if y'all not taking care of them, bro, it just seemed like, oh, we're just using them until they become damaged goods. And then, oh, well, mm, fuck it. You, you got paid. Uh, you should have said, you know what I'm saying? It's like, damn. Billions. Exactly. Billions of dollars for these owners. Yeah. And, and part of that Bernie is a said, 
honestly, part of it is a failure of the leadership of the players' union. That do historically has been a the problem. Right, I do the right thing. It don't take you. It don't take you or you or you to twist my arm to do something I should be doing for my players, regardless. Everything ain't a negotiation. You getting billions. You can die today. That's a sliver. Of the, these people just want basic health care. We talk about four thousand a month, boo. They don't need no players' association to do the right thing by their players. It's called do the right thing. Period. Man, well, four thousand dollars is crazy. Man, let me know how y'all feel about this, man. This incident is still kind of crazy because it just, like I said, it shows the other side of football that people don't usually see. So it's kind of, it's kind of a little, uh, a, a fresh reminder, so to speak. But let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Let me know, man.